Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Farahana binti Razali, metric number 047472 and my research topic is about the perspectives on linguistic imperialism among UNISA undergraduate students. First, let's start off with the background of the study. Malaysia is a nation that has taken English as the nation's second language. Thus, it prioritized English in education and economic context which develops the nation's standing in the eyes of the world. After the Second World War ended, English has become the world's lingua franca, making it a part of globalization. In fact, Rich 2014 said that English is widely spoken, that it channels information for technology and economy, which any nation needs. Malaysia needs English and this need has become a necessity. Thus, it Pops a question whether English has become linguistic imperialism. According to Philipson 2018, uh, linguistic imperialism is a theoretical construct devised to account for linguistic hierarchization to address issues why some languages are used more often and while others are less. What structures and ideologies facilitate such processes and the role of language professionals? Next, we go to problem statement. Recently, there is an argument about the use of English in science and mathematics subjects. According to Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, on January 2, 2020, he said that learning science in Bahasa Melayu has hindered the students to apply their skills that required English, which begs us a question why there is this kind of two treatments in professional context. Why has English become so important more than Bahasa Melayu? Most of the studies actually focuses more on identity markers and English such as we have Wang Li Yaakob 2012 and also Kolazi 2012. But none of the study actually focuses on linguistic imperialism, the perspective that Malaysian undergraduate students has on linguistic imperialism. There are three potential impacts of this study. First, it provides an overview of the perspective of Malaysian undergraduates on linguistic imperialism. The second one is that we can see the impacts of English on our education landscape, which all of these are going to answer the question whether English is actually a myth or a fact. Thank you very much.